Hi everyone, Alex from Beams here and you're watching State of Confidential DeFi Update and we have quite a lot to talk about today, so let's get started. So as you probably know, Beam blockchain now supports smart contracts starting from our recent hard fork in June. And we're currently working hard to develop our confidential DeFi platform. Currently, Beam has three main lanes of development. Beam infrastructure, Beam XDAO, and decentralized applications, NFTs, and partnerships. And I'm going to describe what's going on in each of these lanes one by one. So earlier today, we have released Beam Desktop Wallet 6.1, and it's a very important version because it includes a lot of improvements and features specifically designed for our decentralized application ecosystem. One such feature is the ability to distribute and load Beam dApps as standalone packages, which improves decentralization and censorship resistance compared to a centralized web page or a dApp store. In the following versions, we aim to go even further and provide the centralized double distribution mechanism built directly into all Beam wallets. But even more importantly, in 6.1, we have made a lot of improvements to the Beam wallet library, which serves as a base for all Beam wallets, desktop, mobile, and soon to come web wallet. The wallet library was extended and updated to provide additional features and APIs for support of decentralized applications. Next week, we're going to release 6.1 mobile wallets for Android and iOS, which will include the ability to send and receive confidential assets in mobile wallets. And we also have added support to be able to add decentralized applications to mobile wallets in the next 6.2 release. The same will also be true for the web wallet, which will come around the same time, probably a month, month and a half from now. We believe that the addition of the web wallet to our wallet family will greatly reduce the friction of starting to use Beam and provide much easier onboarding for new users, which also brings us to the next topic, that of decentralized bridges. As you probably know, the topic of blockchain interoperability is very hot right now. There are a lot of blockchains with different features and in many cases, it makes sense to be able to move your assets and tokens from one blockchain to another. This feature called bridges usually works like this. The tokens are locked on one chain and then emitted in the same amount as wrapped assets on the other chain. In the opposite direction, once the wrapped tokens are burned, the appropriate amount of the original tokens is released back on their original chain. The most important part of this scheme is obviously the way to control and monitor that the amount of tokens locked on one chain is exactly equal to the amount emitted on the other chain, otherwise we just have fake emission. In most cases, such control mechanisms involve some intermediary chain or a federation of validators, which also usually have some kind of risk minimization mechanisms on security deposits to reduce the risk for the bridge users. Now, in Beam, we have developed a completely decentralized bridge architecture between Beam and Ethereum blockchains, which requires no trust in the intermediary. And I'm very happy and proud to present it to you today. The main difference of the Beam bridge architecture is that each blockchain is running a smart contract, which is able to completely verify the state of the opposing network. The information regarding the state of each chain is sent by a completely trustless relayer that only needs to pay fees for the update transactions and in return collects fees from bridge users. Now, since the validation of the state can be potentially costly, especially on Ethereum, we're going to use optimistic rollups in the sense that relayer will lock a security deposit that will be lost if the relayer provides false information and there is another layer which is able to show a longer chain which will be valid and will contradict the current state. This is basically very similar to how proof of work mining works. 
From the user experience point of view, the process will be very similar to how a deposit into an exchange works, meaning that the user will have to wait for a certain amount of confirmations before being able to use their funds, thus minimizing the probability of a rework. Beam decentralized bridges will thus allow users to move assets from Ethereum to Beam, trade them confidentially on Beam blockchain, and then, if necessary, move them back. It will also allow to move Beam to Ethereum as wrapped ERC20 tokens and trade them on Ethereum DeFi ecosystem. We expect Beam decentralized bridges to be rolled out around Q4 this year. Now let's talk about the BeamX DAO. So first of all, BeamX DAO is a strategic move for BIM governance from the BIM Foundation, which is the current structure, to a fully-fledged DAO with on-chain voting that will govern the platform for the years to come. The first step in this process is the launch of the DAO core application, which is currently undergoing an audit, and is expected to be launched within about three weeks. The exact launch date is yet to be announced, but in the meantime, you can check it out on BIM testnet. The link will be in the description below. BIM governance will be implemented through the BIMX governance token, which will be issued by the DAO core contract. There will be 100 million BIMX tokens emitted when the contract launches. And in the first part, about 1% of these tokens will be distributed for staking BIM in a way that's completely risk-free, which means that you will be able to take back and withdraw your BIM at any time. But of course, the longer you stake your BIM and the more you stake, the more BIMX tokens you will receive. The exact details of what we're doing are published in our Medium article, and the link will be in the description below, along with the complete distribution of BIMX tokens, how it is planned. The second phase will include the voting module, which will allow to vote for various decisions of the DAO on chain, and of course, discuss all of the proposals before in BIM forum. One of the important features of BIMX DAO is the ability to add applications, either those developed by BIM or, or by third-party developers, into the DAO. And the motivation for that is simple. For the application, it gains the user base and the liquidity within the DAO. And for the DAO, it will be able to accumulate fees that are collected by this application. And of course, the decision of whether to add or not a specific application into the DAO is something that the DAO will vote on and decide whether this application is useful for the DAO and can benefit the DAO or not. And finally, for the last part of today's update, I would like to start with BIM token standard. Currently, BIM natively supports confidential asset, which is an ability to create a new tokens on top of BIM blockchain, which are as confidential as BIM itself. Now, with the addition of smart contracts, it's also possible to create tokens and assets within those contracts, such as NFTs or, in effect, any other type of asset. BIM token standard will specify an API for such assets, and it will be fungibility agnostic, which means that it will be roughly equivalent to ERC20, ERC721, and ERC1155 combined, thus supporting both fungible and non-fungible tokens. We are currently finalizing the first draft of the standard proposal, and it will be published on BIM forum for discussion and comments next week. One of the most interesting features of these assets will be an ability to withdraw the asset from blockchain into the wallet and then trade it confidentially as a new confidential asset with limited amount, depending on the asset that was initially created on the blockchain. For example, you can purchase an NFT and then move it out of the contract into your wallet as a new confidential asset, and then like sell it secretly to somebody else. And the new owner, if he wants, can put it back on the blockchain for a public option. Now, obviously we're not going to develop everything ourselves, which is why we're working on documentation and development tools for our contracts. In addition to that, we have kicked off our partnership program and even though most of the partners are still in kind of stealth mode, I would like to take this opportunity to tease one of them. It's called Beamers and it's going to be a game with NFT characters that you can collect and a cool storyline behind it. 
Now, obviously, I'm very excited to see it developing and I will update on the progress as we go along. So, as you can see, there is quite a lot going on with Beam and more to come. So, thank you very much for supporting Beam. Keep it up, follow us on Twitter and Telegram and everywhere else. Stay subscribed to this channel for more updates. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay private and have a great day.